Hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com, and sorry for um, not publishing new videos for a while uh, because I've been busy, right? So, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do the effective keyword research for SEO in 2019 and beyond. Now, the traditional uh, keyword research that you must have learned before, of course, they work, but uh, you know since SEO has evolved a lot from the past you know there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind you know while doing this keyword research right so in this uh, video I'll teach you how to do in a better way so um, for example you are running a website let's say about a pet care right so uh, you would divide it into let's say a categories right um, dog care and cat care right like these two are the two main categories that most of the pet care website do right so First of all, you've got you have to identify uh, you know the main topic or the seed keywords. So you've got you know pet care of you know as your website. So and then you got uh, dog care right, and you've got uh, cat care here. Now within each you know subtopics right, you you can further divide it into you know, subtopics. Let's say in dog care you have um, uh, let's say you know topics related to um, groom uh, let's say dogs health right and then you got dogs food and then um, yeah I mean you can divide it into uh, something like this right or if you can't you know if you can't think of any um, subtopics related you can Look at your competitor's website. Let's say, for example, you no, know, this is my competitor's website, right? Just for example. So this is a pet care website, and uh, you can also scroll down, right, and you know, have a look at their uh, so their website. Let's say their blog section, right? As you can see here, they also have categorized into dogs and cats. So if I click dogs here, right? You can check here. There's a health and wealth, right? There's a uh, let's say safety, right? Grooming. Yeah, I can add this obviously. Uh, groom dog, right? And you would repeat the same thing with cat care, right? So you know, just come up with a similar topic. Maybe you know, just change the word dogs to cat, something like that. And within each subtopic, right? You can further divide it into you know sub uh, atomic topic or it. It can be become you know a content in itself. You know the goal here is basically you know try to break it down into a, you know the simplest uh, atomic element as possible, right? Until it becomes the topic on its own. And when you got a topic on its own, then it's time to really you know plug that into the tools, right? And see whether you should go after the keywords or not. Because you know if your website has less authority or less backlinks or less D or PA or whatever then you know going after big keywords would not be an ideal situation right or if you're going always going after low uh, hanging fruit keywords then you may not you know, be able to generate enough traffic right so you would have to keep in mind uh, uh, something in the middle right especially if you're just starting out or your website has less authority you have to make sure that you're going right after right keywords okay so for example, uh, let's say you know I want to further break down the groom doc um, subtopic, right? So um, there are basically a couple of ways you can go around this. Um, first of all, you can use this tool, right? Uh, it's a tool called KeywordTool.io, which basically you know generates uh, related um, auto suggest uh, keywords from Google, right? So for example, I type in groom doc. This will give me a bunch of uh, key, uh, long tail variations, or you know, the, the some of the variations of the topic, because you know, groom dog in itself is still a very big keyword, right? To go after, obviously, it has more competitions, right? So, as you can see here, um, these are a bunch of suggested keywords from Google Auto Suggest, right? So, as you can see here, you've got a couple of keywords here. So what you do is, you know, first of all, your goal is to actually come up with at least 100 to 150 keywords um, per each subtopic, right? I mean, goal is to try to come up with as many keywords as possible because 
you know, in the first phase, that is keyword research, you actually have to come up with as many t uh, keywords as possible. And then in the next phase, which we call as a competitive uh, keywords quali qualifications, is to basically you know, pick up uh, which keywords to go after or which one not to go, right? Okay, so um, first, you know, just kind of, you know, grab all these keywords, right? And put it in, let's say, you know, a notepad first or Excel sheet or wherever you want. Let's say you know, I go after, you know, groom dog. Um, let's say I, I pick up this keyword, right? So under groom dog, I have this one. I have this one, right? Okay. And then I also have, um, let's say, something like this, this one, okay. So these are the three of my, you know, big keywords. Still, you know, if you think you can further break this down, you know, into a further subtopic or topic, you can obviously do that, right? So just for the sake of example, I've picked it, I've picked up these three keywords, right? And uh, the second way you can go around with this, you know, to actually come up with um, a bunch of keywords, you can actually, you know, to take your competitors domain name right and plug it into the tool called uber suggest i'm sure you have heard of this is you know the free tool by uh, neil patel right and it's i think it's one of the best tools out there for keyword research so just go ahead and plug in the domain right and what this tool what you would have to look at in the, this tool is to basically you know look at the all the keywords this domains rank for right so you can get an idea of the keywords your competitors are going after, right? In, in that sense, you can, you know, kind of compete with them. Okay, so, so you can have a rough idea of what keywords are actually profitable, right? So let's scroll down to where it says, will all SEO keywords these domains rank for? Just wait for this to process and uh, you can also select the regions, right? Where you're targeting, right? Uh, for most of you, obviously, you're going to target the U.S., right? So, as you can see here, these are all the keywords this domain or website ranks for, right? Uh, at this point, just don't worry much about, you know, the, I mean, the, all these metrics. Just remember to grab, you know, as many keywords as possible, right? So, what you would do is, you know, copy to the clipboard, right? Or export to a CSV, something like that. So, the idea is to actually, you know, come up with as many keywords it's possible right obviously the majority of them won't make sense and you know most of them also contain you know the branded keywords here so you would want to you know, not go after this so it's also another way you know to curate um, a bunch of topics right and uh, next way you can do is to actually you know go to the website called answer the public you know I'm sure you have must have heard this as well right it used to find questions related to your keyword so our main um keyword right or subtopic is groom dog right and go ahead and click get questions this is also a very good tool you know to really find uh, low hanging fruit keywords because normally questions keyword or question phrases are you know less less competitive right but obviously some of them you know uh, are very, quite difficult to go after but remember in our first phase we would try to come up with as many keywords as possible because you know not all of them will work and the majority of them will have to go away right in our second phase that is the keywords qualifications okay so while waiting for this you know you just go ahead and create a spreadsheet right just how i created here you got the keywords search volume uh, cpc and lsi keywords right because lsi keywords if you don't know what it means it's basically you know um the keyword related to your topic the main topic right so 
as you know, you know, nowadays SEO is not just about optimizing for one particular keyword because search engine is now getting smarter and smarter, right? And you know that if you keep on stuffing in keywords or, you know, repeating the keywords multiple times, it kind of looks spammy and you might get penalized for that, right? So instead, there's a concept called as LSI keywords or supporting keywords or related keywords, which will help, you know, add more meanings to the keywords which you are optimizing for, right? So you've got keywords here and, you know, next is LSI keywords, which uh, LSI keywords will deal with it after, you know, we have qualified the keywords. First of all, you need to basically, you know, fill up this um, column here, right? So, for example, you know, just go ahead and uh, kind of copy and paste all this stuff. Just paste it here, right? So, yeah, you got a list of keywords, right? And you need to basically, you know, if you have exported from Uber Suggest, then you would get a search volume, you know, along with it, right? You can just go ahead and fill it up and, you know, do it manually, right? One by one, right? Like that. And if you feel that there's any, if you feel that any of the keywords can be further broken down, then you can, you know, just go ahead and um, type it in Google. For example, let's say, you know, groom aggressive dog, right? If I feel that this keyword can be further broken down, right, into a subtopic or, you know, keywords, or maybe it can generate more keywords. So you can utilize, you know, this section, people also ask, right, to grab more keywords idea from here. And also, you know, you can grab some more ideas from here as well, right? So let's say, you know, I go ahead and copy all of this and put it in my keyword research sheet here. So here you basically got more list of keywords. Let me just paste it in the notepad first. So we kind of get generalized idea, right? Yeah, something like this, I mean. Need to refresh it. All right, so here you just, you know, see the data, right? And kind of zoom it right in as you can see here you've also got a couple of keywords here right so you just go ahead and download you know the CSV here or just copy and paste like what you would normally do right so just go ahead and press it all right so something like this right as you can see here you know We've also got a keyword related to groom dog, right? And we also got a generalized keyword here um, for, you know, the this particular domain, right? So what you would want to do is, you know, to kind of clean this up further, right? So let's say, you know, let's say all these are generalized keyword, right? And you can scroll down and kind of let me just re delete this and let's say I name it as groom dog keyword okay so I kind of bold this as you can see here so all these are um, you know keyword related to groom dog right and you also got uh, a couple of keywords that we got earlier so from here here all right so here are the keyword related to groom dog and you can also you know sift down through all these you know generalized keywords and put it in the categories right basically you know kind of clean this up a little bit all right so um in the next phase you know we kind of look at the search volume right basically for looking up the search for the for search volume 
um, you can use the Uber Suggest, right? The actually, you know, search volume and uh, CPC cost per click. CPC is basically, you know, how valuable your keyword is. Basically, if you're running an affiliate website, right, you would want to go after keywords which has, you know, high CPC because that's what people are looking for when they want to buy something, right? So when you're choosing for high CPC keywords, mean, you know, people are likely to buy it. So those are the type of keywords which you would want to go after, right? And just go ahead, you know, and utilize Uber suggest um, search volume tools here, right? For example, um, this keywords. Mind you that, you know, the majority of keywords here, you know, since they are long tail keywords, they would not have high search volume, right? But just make sure that you include them as well. If you if they don't have high search volume, or if they have zero search volume, just include them as well, you know. Just choose the keyword which makes sense, you know, which you think which you think people are actually looking for, right? Because, you know, if they come from Google or, you know, some other, all these tools, they are basically, you know, uh, pulled out from whatever people have actually typed in, right? But obviously, you know, you would give a high uh, priority to the keywords which have high search volume or have some search volume. Let's say, you know, these keywords, um, let me copy this keyword, right, and find this Google Uber suggest. As you can see, it has a zero search volume, right? And this obviously doesn't make much sense to me. Um, so this we can highlight this as zero search volume and CPC as well. If you're writing for informative blog article, right? Then obviously the majority of them will have low CPC. How about this one? All right, so as you can see here, it has zero search volume, but at the bottom, you know, you scroll down, you see the keywords idea, how to trim aggressive dog nails, right? You can also include this as well, even though this doesn't really, it's not related to, you know, groom dog, but at least, you know, you can add it to your keyword list as well. So let me just copy this and add it let's say i want to replace it here and uh, search volume is 20 right and the cpc is zero remember cpc only works you know if you kind of have affiliate website right so you would want to target high cpc keywords otherwise you know just search volume is enough so you know, just go ahead and you know uh, repeat all this this manually, right? LSI keywords, you know, uh, I don't suggest you to go after it right now because this we will uh, deal with it once you know we have complete, you know, once we have picked up the keywords to go after, right? Because going after all these manually with LSI keywords, so volume CPC will be a, a lots of work to do, right? So really don't have to bother much about this. And you know, just go ahead and search for all you know all these keywords, right? Do it manually, like that. And uh, that's all for this video. And see you in the next video where I'll teach you how to qualify the keywords, right? How to pick the keywords which actually works uh, for your website.